audience, let me tell you what that is. That's the audience's opinion of our guest star this evening. No. <laughs> I kid my friend. That is our tacky buzzer, which means the time is up. But Don, uh, he chose you, so it is worth $50 either to Ernie or to Wilma. I'll read the question. Can you be discharged from military service because you just don't care? I had that problem. Because <laughs> uh, you just don't care. Uh, well, in the outfit I was in, and I, from my experience in the service, I, I no, there's no way. He says you can't. Do I it. disagree with it. You know, it comes under uh, personal deficiencies. I didn't care, and they wouldn't let me go, but it's yes. <laughs> and uh, we have an X, and you've won yourself $100. Ernie Gonzalez. <laughs> I've sent it now, Wilma, your turn. Don Rickles, please. Hi, Don. Hi. Say, the hair on your face, is that mostly caused by male or female hormones? No, I'm in heat for an ape. <laughs> Give me that question again. These are toughies. Hear the, the hair on your face, is that mostly caused by male or female hormones? The hair. Uh, that's caused by uh, female hormones. Female. I'll agree. No, nope, nail. Uh, put an X there. Air fluid in the dumper. <laughs> Hi, Don. Hi. Hey, I, yeah, I want to yeah, digress for just one minute and talk about your mom. How's she doing down there in Florida? Oh, uh, that's Edith? pretty. She's coming along. Thank you. She's been ill, but uh, she's doing fine and we love her. Hi, Mom. Love you. Yes, I love her too, and I know her. Thank you. Hey, Don, according to the Farmer's Almanac, is there any reason to try to lower your voice to the deepest tones possible when talking to a horse? <laughs> I was thinking about that I, only if he starts smiling at you. Uh, huh. But is there any reason at all to lower your voice to the deepest tones possible when talking to a horse? According to the Farmer's Almanac, yes or no? I think that's the dumbest question I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> when I'm with a horse, I just stand against the wall and go... <laughs> uh, I would say, uh, I really don't know. It's a well, dumb it's thing. Yes or no. Should you or shouldn't you? Oh, I hope your ears burn up, you pain in the burgers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's one klutz in the front going, what a night. <laughs> uh, I'd say you no. He says no. I disagree. It is no. It's one of our dumb questions. You were right to begin with. Put it to you. Don Rickles, please. Don, true or false? British sailors. British sailors are called limeys because they used to suck limes. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> That's come back, Don. Limeys, well, I think it's so ridiculous that it might be true. Betty? I agree. Hey, a Navy lady, of course, to obtain vitamin C and defeat scurvy, right? Okay with the circle. Michael, show next there. <laughs> Lieutenant? Don Rickles. For $250, Don, you're a doctor, according to the medical encyclopedia. Why is the nurse blowing up your rubber gloves? <laughs> oh, dear. Because she's lonely. <laughs> Why would a nurse blow up your rubber gloves? I don't know. She's going to be a weirdo. Take away her hat. I don't know. I, I would say uh, to, uh, to uh, prepare for an operation. To prepare for an operation. A little more specific, Don. What do I win? A kazoo? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but if she's blowing up your rubber gloves, why? We know you're preparing for a, an operation, but... To, pow to powder it up. To, to powder up the gloves. Okay, to powder it up. To powder them up? Mm -hmm. To pop it up. You know, hey, Lieutenant, up. just pick out what you like. Don't make it a <laughs> I will agree. No. <laughs> to check it for holes. Okay. Yeah. If it has holes in it, it's not good. You know, little germ germs. Put a circle there, Bonnie. And this is one of our offices. George Goble. <laughs> George Goble. 